Oh no! Dude, crap! No. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today, I'm installing some handguards. So I've gone with the Krikas. Krika Pro Bends. A lot of people uh, love the Bark Busters. I was looking for the Bark Busters, but couldn't get any. Couldn't find anywhere. It was going to be months and months delay, so these were the next option. And they actually have a pretty neat feature, which the bar end dips down so that, uh, I guess, if your hand needs to quickly slide off, then there's a little bit of a dip. So we'll see how that goes when we get installed. No, I wasn't the biggest fan of the color, but hey, the yellow matches the bike. So this is what came in the box, the guards, the aluminum framing for it, and a bunch of uh, parts. And uh, I guess you can buy just the guards without the clamps. So make sure you either get the full kit or you buy the clamps. And you'll need uh, some tools. So you're going to need your Allen keys or hex keys, depending on what you call them. 12 millimeter wrench, screwdriver, 8 millimeter socket. And of course you're going to need the Torx piece to get these off here. All right, so let's start with getting the old hand guards off. So, pretty straightforward. Undo these. Alright, now these holders have to come off. Oh, look at that. There you go. Unscrew the bar ends. <laughs> so it comes with a few different expandable joints, but it looks like for the bar end that we have, it'll be the smallest one because these ones don't fit, the bigger ones don't fit. So it looks like the small ones will go in and then as you tighten it, it should expand and get nice and tight. The only way to get it to sit flush is by cutting the rubber off. And I'll probably have to slightly trim on this side as well. All right. Here goes nothing. So it looks like based on how this goes in, the only way I could do it was to get it started. So it was just almost tight and so I could just barely get it in and then I had to angle it. And then I could start to tighten it so that it would bite. So you tilt it down a bit and then that's the only way because there's nothing to push against. And so now it's sitting up tight against there. Next we got the clamp. It's got four screws. That will pretty straightforward. I say that now. Don't fully tighten it, just keep it loose. Get her on there. Keep those wires out of the way. Seems like this is gonna knock against there. That's as far out as I can get it. All right, let's tighten these up. All right, so that's loosely on now, almost ready to tighten. I'm gonna install these now before I tighten everything up. All right, so what I've done is I've added a washer 
here just to give it a little bit more space. It's still hitting a little bit, which kind of sucks, but at least it's out a little bit. Now just tighten everything else up. And it's got this little plastic cover. You would think things would line up nowadays. Well, there you go. That's one side. Done. I was hoping this would have come out a bit more than it does. But you can see how with the bend, if your hand has a slide off, it won't get caught. All right, let's try the uh, throttle side. So it's taken over four weeks to get the right parts to put on these Sykra handguards. At first, the uh, clip-on bolt was too short, the one that comes with it. Then the one I ordered was the 7 8 not the 1 and 1 8 that I need. So I finally got the right ones, so I was able to put it on. I'll show you guys on the uh, throttle side. I put it on this one really straightforward really just clamps onto the bar and you attach it and then I didn't have to even cut this so as you saw I ended up cutting this and then comes with its own bolt and you just screw it into the end here so really straightforward and I'll get the other one on now and then I'll be matching. Screw on the outside with the black bolts that they provide you because it fits in perfectly right there. And then it is going to be a tricky fit. But take your clamp. You got, you got the four Allen bolts or hex bolts, whatever you want to call them. And then you lose your Allen key. We'll jump right to the part where they're all screwed in. All right, get it so that you can still maneuver it a little bit. And we need the bolt. Just for reference, it's a 12 millimeter. So it'll save you the time from searching around for which one it is. There we go. Snug it up. Still got some play. And then we'll finish tightening up these guys. Tighten up the end. Three screws for the front. All right, so those guys are in. Now just the Plastic cover on the outside. And I'll have to try and find one screw. Because in all the time that this box has been sitting and getting kicked around, I seem to have lost one. Alright, I managed to find a screw that works. Not black. I can always paint it black. I'm very worried about the fashion of it all. And there you go, guys. The Psycra handguards in place. And if you've watched any of my other videos, you know the likelihood of me needing these is slim to none. Hmm. They're just there for looks. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Well, I guess I shouldn't have had the mirror under right where I was working. Of course, I dropped a bolt and it fell right on the mirror and cracked it.